Jaya Jaya, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is what is emotional mastery? One of the core aspects of the vital tantra system is what I call chitayama or mind mastery. So when you look at your being, your life, you've got the physical body and the electromagnetic field. So this is the auric field or the the etheric body, so those are the layers of what's visible, what's the closest to the physical reality. Then you have your mind, and by mind I mean everything that has to do with feelings, emotions, thoughts, mindsets, belief systems. All that is what I call your egoic body. This is your personality. This is your filter to life. This is how you interpret life. This is how you create, you know, within this physical reality. This is your mind. And then above that you have uh, soul, spirit and the, um, the unified fields of consciousness that you are tapping into. But this vehicle that you are witnessing right now in front of you, this is this me, this identity, has a mind. And within that mind you have all these different energy objects like thoughts, emotions, feelings. So when you are having something, uh, an energy circulating through you, it will be reflected in different energy objects, right? You might have a thought, and with that thought you have a certain emotion associated with that, and then you have a certain sensation in your body. So it's a multidimensional experience. It's never just a thought. It's never just an emotion. It's like it's a multidimensional experience. So. Uh, Emotional mastery, for me, means mastery of your mind. Why do you want to master your mind? Because your mind is with you all the time. It's present here. You're navigating with it 24-7. And uh, if your mind is not functioning properly, then it's going to negatively impact on all areas of your life. If you feel tense and contracted, you're going to protect, project that in your love life or you are going to project that in uh, your professional life and underperform, or you might sabotage yourself. So it's very important that your mind vehicle is optimized as much as possible. What I, when I use the word mastery, uh, I'm not saying control, okay? It can be control sometimes, it can be very directive control, but what I mean by mastery, it's being able to navigate the waves of what's happening within you a little bit like a ninja or a surfer, you know, playing with the waves of passion and energy that are emerging in your system. Okay, so now that you get it, great! Now, how do you master your mind? So, this is one of the core things that we are doing within the, the Vital Tantra system, within the Tantrika training. We want to be you know, uh, masters of what's happening inside of us. So we are going to use different techniques and different approaches to gain a sense of mastery. So I'm just going to give you three hints. One of them is detoxification of, <laughs> of mind patterns that don't serve you. For instance, if you have an emotion that is trapped inside of you because there is an accumulation of tension that happened over the last few days, you might have a fight with somebody and then that tension stays in your system, in your thoughts in your emotions. So you want to have some form, some form of cleansing practices. Some of those cleansing practices can be simple like meditation or more dynamic like uh, fire breath or jumping into the oceans or going surfing or jogging or doing something that is going to help uh, clear the channels inside of you. So those techniques are what I call energy techniques, right? But there is a lot of things that you can do to keep your mind and your system clean have healthy nutrition, don't expose yourself to too much toxicity from outside. You know, if you spend a, an hour having a conversation with somebody who is extremely toxic, talking really negatively, through the, the um, limbic or energetic resonance, you are going to pick up on that person's thoughts and emotions and then eventually start embodying those things in your system. And that sucks. You don't want to do that. So when you feel like there is toxicity, you have to put uh, boundaries. Take some distance, you know, <laughs> compassionately. You don't have to be a, an idiot or, or an asshole to that person. But basically, you go like, you know what? Um, I think I'm going to go now because this conversation is not necessarily serving me. Okay, so you get the picture, right? So you've got um, the detoxific detoxification of, of your system. Then you have uh, building 
in your mind healthy mind frames. So the mind frames are like the foundations, the values that you want to anchor. For instance, a very simple, uh, a simple frame that you can embody is I am free, right? This is a, an empowering thought or an empowering belief. It doesn't mean that you are free all the time. Sometimes you might not feel free, but basically having values like these ones that are anchored into your field. So those are the frames that you build. It's like the architecture in your mind and the emotions that you practice the most that are going to channel this sense of mastery in, uh, in your life. So you've got those two um, uh, those two aspects. The third one is to connect with sources of energy that are going to empower you. Okay, if you are in some small flat somewhere lost in in the middle of nowhere with no support, no friends, no sense of connection with the divine and with the invisible, you are going to feel extremely isolated and it's going to be very hard to resource yourself. So what you want is to find source of sponsoring energy in your life that are going to help you, help you grow. So this is why, you know, we connect with spiritual practices because behind that there are sources of energy that help you um, embody uh, beautiful things and help you feel connected uh, uh, to source. So this, this source of energy can be, you know, can be also family, can, they can be friends, they don't have to be transcendental spiritual sources. But in my case, with what I teach, that's what I, I actively help you connect with through mantras and spiritual practices and so on, that you really feel like the embodiment of those sponsoring energies coming into your existence. Okay, I hope this makes sense. I'll see you soon for another video.